Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to try something new here. And, you know, I'm going to jump on the Reading Reddit Stories bandwagon. So, with that being said, let's get started with the first story with r slash am I the asshole. This story is called, Am I the Asshole for Burst Out Laughing and Saying I Told You So When a Friend of Mine Found Out He Has STIs. I, 19 female, have a class with a girl named Casey. We'll call her. I believe she's about 21 and she has a problem with overstating her private life. I tune her out most of the time, but one thing she's mentioned is that she sleeps around without a condom because she has a latex allergy. I know that latex free condoms are a thing, but honestly, I just don't give a damn about her sex life to mention that to her. Two weeks ago, I was having car trouble, so my friend Dan gave me a ride home, uh, or gave me a ride to and from class. When Dan picked me up, he noticed that Casey was talking to me. He mentioned that he and Casey had a thing a few weeks back. I looked a little alarmed and asked him, Oh, uh, you know that she sleeps around with a lot of guys without a condom, right? You might want to get checked out for STIs. He said, No way! And refused to believe me until I texted Casey, Casey and asked how many guys she was currently seeing. She said three and Dan was still in denial and said I just changed the name of the contact or something. Anyways, last week Dan was complaining about some health problems that matched some STI symptoms. So, he ended up going to a doctor. He got the results and well, guess what? He's positive for chlamydia. I burst out laughing and said, I told you so, and now he's pissed off. Honestly, I don't feel bad at all. Honestly, OP, in my opinion, I do not believe you are the asshole. Because I have a friend of mine who openly sleeps around quite a bit, to be honest. And I told him a while back, hey, if you don't watch it, you're going to catch something. Well, a couple months ago, he tells me, oh, I have uh, been treated for gonorrhea at least two or three times, which it is curable. You know, you get a shot, and I think that's about it. Anyway, I warned him months prior to him telling me this, that he was going to catch something, and sure enough, he did. So, no, I do not believe you are the asshole for this one. You warned him, he took his chances, and, well, now he's got to live with the result. Am I the asshole for being taller than my friend during his wedding? So, I'm not a tall guy, and most of my friends are also not tall guys, excluding one. My tallest friend is about 6'1". I'm the next tallest at 5'11". My friend always jokes about us being shorter than him and calls us little and manly and other dumb things over the years I've been able to take as a joke. I guess his height is really important to him and it makes him feel special to be taller than average. So, I was a groomsman for his wedding and most of our friend group also were. We gathered together and decided to do something we thought was funny since he is so height obsessed. We got insoles that are supposed to add a few inches of height, and we all wore them during the wedding. I wore three inches, and it brought me up to a confident six foot two. Surprisingly, he didn't notice. I'm thinking that maybe with the stress of the wedding, he just didn't have the capacity to notice it, and he never called us out on it until recently. So, he got his pictures back yesterday, and in every one, he's not the tallest one. Yours truly is. To him, this was a huge f***ing deal. He was livid. He said that we did this to make him look like less of a man on his wedding day and we betrayed him. We told him it was just a joke and it really wasn't that big of a deal. He said we made him look bad at one of the best days of his life and he will never forgive us. So now, we aren't on speaking terms. I think he's being ridiculous. No one cares that I was an inch taller than him and the rest of our friends were bigger. Am I the asshole? Honestly, I really do not think that you are. It was honest joke, 
It seems like your friend has always used his height as something to hold over you, no pun intended. But you pull the innocent joke on him, nobody that is at his wedding cares about you being a couple inches taller. They are there to support a couple on their wedding day. Anyone that sees the pictures isn't really going to think anything about it. They're not paying that much attention. Nobody was really paying attention to you guys during the wedding. They were pay atten paying attention to the bride and groom. So no, I do not believe you are the asshole. Alright, for our third and final story of the video, am I the asshole for getting angry at my dad for using my car? I was planning on driving to uni today to work on an assessment. And right as I'm about to leave, my dad says he's using my car because he's going to see a friend of his. My family currently has three vehicles, two automatics and one manual. I only have an automatic license. I think they basically mean that they only know how to drive an automatic. There is no special license for either one, I don't believe. Maybe there is over in Europe or whatever, but not here in the United States. My mom was out of the house using the other automatic, so all that was left was my car and my dad's manual van. I asked him why he couldn't use his van instead, and he said it's disrespectful to take up so much space on someone's driveway as there will also be other people going. I told him that I was already planning on going out, and he told me on short notice, so it's not fair on me, but he completely ignored me and just took my keys and drove off, which made me so angry I called him and cussed him out and told him to bring back my car. When he got home, we got into an aggressive argument. He accused me of being ungrateful and disrespectful, and I told him he has no respect for my time telling me on short notice. Honestly, I do not think you are the asshole here. I think your dad is the asshole here. He had a perfectly good vehicle that he could drive, knowing that you did not know how to drive a manual transmission vehicle, and he decided to take your car anyway, just because it's smaller. I'm sure his friends would understand, you know, if he brought his van. I'm sure they wouldn't have a problem with it, because that's what he drives. Your dad should have at least took his own vehicle, or what he could have done is asked you to drop him off on the way and pick, maybe pick him up on the way home, or have your mom pick him up on the way home if he really didn't want to drive his van that much. So no, you are not the asshole. Your dad, on the other hand, was a big asshole. Like I said, he knew you couldn't drive a manual transmission, and he did not care. So your dad has no respect for you, and he is the asshole. Well, guys, let me know if you liked this first episode of Reddit Stories. If so, I, I'll make more. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this for a little while because I see the attention it gets. I didn't do it for the attention. I just thought it was interesting. After watching multiple videos from different people like r slash and uh, uh, Jake. What's his name? Jake. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, and there's a bunch of other people, you know, voicey here, whatnot. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this episode, uh, let me know. If uh, you would like me to do more, because uh, anyone who browses Reddit on a regular basis knows there's plenty more out there. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate it. Share this video, you know, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Share it on Reddit. That works too. I do have a Reddit page. Just look up r slash the insomniac03. I believe that's what it is. I'll have to double check on that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, that's it for the video, and uh, hope you guys liked it, and I will see you again next time.